Do you hate losing or love winning? Which one drives you more? Yeah, it's a combination of both. Okay, the best athletes in the world, they want the first place trophy so bad. They love winning. And the, the not having that first place trophy, the pain of losing and not having that first place trophy drives them. Okay, the best performers in the world, that's their mindset. Okay, they're not afraid of winning they're not just afraid of losing. They're afraid of not having that first place trophy. They want it so damn bad. Okay? That's the mentality that you got to have. Right out of high school, um, I got right into personal training. Went up to the University of Utah, started my degree in exercise sports science. Uh, my coach, head coach, uh, asked me to come back and coach, which was a tremendous honor because there was a lot of, you know, People that wanted the coach, but he gave that opportunity to me. So I love, so that's where I first like really got my love for coaching, right? Who played sports growing up? Raise your hand. Awesome. Awesome. What sport did you play? Basketball and football. What positions did you, did you play? Garden receiver. Garden receiver. Nice. Who, who played baseball? Nice. What position do you play? First base? Yeah, you look like first baseman. I always liked the tall first baseman because they could catch it if I threw it too high. <laughs> yeah. So I, I played third base. Okay, so when I was coaching, I coached the infielders, right? And in Little League, what they do is the coaches say, line up, all the infielders, line up. And they'd line up on this beat piece of grass, and the coach would just zip grounders to them. Get in front of it. Knock it down. Don't be afraid of the ball. And that's how they coached. And that's how a lot of people coach. Put yourself out there. Get down. Don't get down on yourself. Keep going. But does that really help you be a world-class business owner? That's rookie shit. Okay, rookie shit isn't going to get you paid. Okay, you need major league business skills, major league mindsets, major league skill sets. That gets you paid. Okay, if you're a single A player, you're making maybe $15,000 a year. If you're a double A, you're maybe around 20, 30. If you're a triple A, which is one step down from major league, you're maybe making 70 to 100,000. As soon as you jump up from AAA to Major League, it's in the millions. It's a huge jump. Okay, in business, you see a lot of the same thing. You see people that are doing okay, and then you see people that are crushing it. The middle, there's, the middle class is disappearing. It has been for years. Okay, if that's news to you, man, we need to get out from underneath that rock. Okay, there is no middle class. It's dead. You're, you're being crushed or you're crushing it. So just understanding basic skills just as a coach would understand with with little league is get in front of it not being afraid of the ball that's rookie shit we got to go to the next level so when I started to coach people this is how we're going to fill grounders we're going to start with the ball in front of you let me take this off shit's getting serious okay so we'd set the ball in front of them Let's learn the mechanics of actually being a major league baseball player. Okay, let's start with your starting stance. Okay, it's not like this. It's not like this. It's not like this. Okay, this is little league shit. Okay, first thing, we're not talking about the skill set. We're not talking about the body. The first thing we're talking about is what's your mindset? Devin. Do you want the ball hit to you? Tell me the truth. Do you want the ball hit to you? Uh, no, you don't. That's the problem. Okay, you don't want the ball hit to you. Okay, why did you play baseball? Because I love baseball. You wanted to play baseball. You didn't want to stand in the field, did you? You didn't want to stand on the sideline. Why do you have a business? Okay, so first thing is, what's the mindset? Okay. Devin, you want the ball. Uh, yeah. Devin, you want the ball. Yes, I want the ball. Good. We want the ball. Okay, because if you're afraid of it, 
you're afraid of putting yourself out there, if you're afraid of being seen, if you're afraid of these things, okay, what's going to happen when the ball gets hit to you? You won't know what to do. You'll mess it up. Okay, so the first set is, hey, let's actually have the mindset of we actually want the ball. Okay, we actually want, want to win here. Okay, here's our starting stance. I want the ball. I'm ready for it. Okay, starting stance. Okay, the ball's hit. Okay, the ball comes towards me. First step. Okay, it's not like this. Okay, we got to have perspective. Okay, we got to have perspective in our business. First step, we get around the ball. I need to see the trajectory of that ball. Okay, I need to see what that ball is actually doing. When it's hit straight on, I can't see how it's bouncing. Okay, you're either playing the ball or the ball is playing you. You're either playing, you're either playing in business or the business is playing you. Okay, which is it? We got to see perspective. We got to have vision. Leaders have vision. Okay, get around the ball. I see the trajectory. As I start to come, I start to break down. Okay, I'm not a helicopter. Helicopters do this. Okay, I'm an airplane. Get around the ball, start to break down, break down, break down, right, left, filled. As soon as I catch the ball, separate. Separate. I don't hold it here. That's taking too much time. If I filled it here and here, that guy's already safe at first. Maybe not in Little League. In Little League, you're probably fine. We're talking major league baseball. We're talking major league business. We're talking major league business. We don't have time to make these mistakes that we've gotten away with in the past. Not at the next level. Your client's too smart. Your client's too educated. Your client has other options, true or false. Okay, this equivalent in business isn't going to work. Okay, fill the ball, separate. Right, take a picture with the camera. Pointing towards first base, aim, throw. Set it down again. Same thing. Get around the ball, right, left, filled, right, left, throw. Set it down. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Fundamentals. Okay, fundamentals. Now the next step is now we gently roll it. Okay, and if we can't get that down, okay, we're not going to just fill ground balls. That's not doing anything. Okay, your business comes down to fundamentals, guys. Okay, we're talking about the fundamentals this week. And one of the biggest fundamentals is your brand. It's your you. It's your mark. It's your message. It's how do you want to be identified in business. 